So it had dawned on me that I did not cover pointers and passing by reference before I made the rock, paper, scissors part of this series. So that's my bad. I'm going to reorganize or reorder the, uh, which I'm called the playlist after this video is published. So hopefully it'll make more sense. But we're going to be covering pointers and passing by reference. And I figured we're going to go ahead and cover those both since they're to some extent related. So what I'm going to do here is I want to have a variable that I can change. And I want to show you those how you can change it with just passing it as a pointer, passing it as a copy, and pass by reference and kind of give a rough overview without really diving too deep of trying to explain why it happens. So what I'm going to do is in our person class that we've created in the previous videos, I'm just going to do int age. And I'm going to give age in the constructor a default value of 20. We have age value of 20. So in our main function, let's go ahead and create a version of player or an object. So player, sorry, person, player. So here we have our player. I want to create three different functions. So I'm going to do void change player age. It's going to be person player. And then we're just going to alter it in here. I'm going to go ahead and do player dot age equals 55. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this three times. So change player age copy, change player age pointer, and change player age reference. So for pointer, to make it take in a pointer, I'm just going to use what this is actually called. It's not the ampersand asterisks I think and then whenever we're using a pointer we don't use the dot operator we use the little arrow guy here to point to our age and then for reference we're going to use ampersand I believe that's called ampersand so we have change player age copy change player age pointer and change player age reference so I'm going to do player copy person player pointer and person player reference. So these are all going to be pretty much holding or uh, interacting with these functions accordingly. So when you usually create a pointer, you don't do this in Unreal Engine because with U objects, they have their own methods for doing this kind of stuff. But for now, we're going to allocate the memory space. So we're going to use the new operator person. So we're going to go ahead and allocate it. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and print out some logs. So UE log, have it, C out, layer copy, before, and then this is going to be the before this function, the function gets called. So we're going to do player copy dot age. And we're going to go ahead and copy this. Oops. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then player copy after. Then we're going to call change player age, copy. And we're going to pass in player copy. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. The player pointer before, after. Change player age pointer. We're going to pass in player pointer. And again, we cannot use the dot operator. And then we're good. So do one more, and this is going to be our reference. And we can still use the dot operator. So each one of these, all we're doing is modifying age and setting it to 55. Now, uh, let me actually go ahead and and do one more end line at the end of there, so that way it's a little bit cleaner to separate between the two. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it and just look. So for player age copy, we're setting player age to 55, 
but player copy before is 20 and after is 20. Our player copy right here is not actually getting changed. Now when we look at our player pointer, it's starting out at 20, we call change player age pointer, and it ends up being 55, so it is changing. We do player reference, so it starts out at 20. I messed up somewhere. Oops, I messed up. Right here, player age copy. For reference, we need to do player age reference. My bad. In player age reference, we pass in while we start it. The object starts out as 20, but then we call our change player age reference function, and that changes it to 55. So it's changing player reference. Now, why are these two changing for the original value, and why is the copy not? So when we just do a normal function, and we just pass in a value. So for example, let's say I have void my function, and just takes in an int, just an int value. Well, when we send in, we call it and we pass in a value, such as, what was it called? My function. We pass in, you know, 45. Well, we're not really passing in specific object, we're kind of duplicating it. So when we call change player age copy, what we're doing is we're sending a copy of player. So it's like a duplicate. So now while this function is running, there are two copies of this existing. And then after it sets it, you know, it continues along. This is for the most part discarded. We're not doing anything with it. Now, that's not necessarily what you want in, when you're working with games. So when you have a game, you have a player, you want to pass that player around to other functions to be able to make changes on that specific player. You don't want to have, you don't necessarily want to do copies. You don't want to, you know, pass it in as a copy and then make some changes and then return that copy. So, if, for example, if we changed it to return of type person and then we return player after making this change and then set player copy to equal that, function calls return value, then it would make the change, but you don't want to do all that. So we can get around that by just using pointers. So I'd say a good 80% of the stuff that you're going to be doing in UE or Unreal Engine is going to be working with pointers. So here we have player pointer, and this one, as you can tell, it starts out as 20, and then it gets altered right in here and changes to 55. So player pointer has gotten altered from this function here. It's, we're not sending a copy to it to duplicate and change. Instead, we're actually sending this object. So we're working with memory. So you can think of memory like, like cubbies in elementary school or something very early on. So you have a bunch of boxes and each one of those boxes contains data. So all we're doing is we're creating a pointer. So this player pointer value right here it's just a pointer, so it points to one of those cubbies that has the data in it. So when we call this function we pass in, we're just passing in a pointer. So we're just saying, hey, there's this cubby over here. Here's the, uh, here's the direction to it or the address. Make change it. You do whatever you want with it. So you're accessing that, that box, that cubby, directly. Then that moves on to pass by reference. So this is, we're not, so we're not working with pointers here, but we're also not sending in a copy either. So when we add this little sky right here, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, here's, you know, here's myself, so to speak. Here's my, my cubby, my little box, modify me. So whenever we access player, when we're using pass by reference like this, we're accessing it directly. And this is something that you're going to want to do when you're working with strings. So as you can imagine, so we'll go ahead and delete all that here because there's, I can just spam control Z if I need it again. Let's say we have a function here. This we're going to want to do with strings most of the time. So void string example. And it's just going to take in, you know, std string my string. std c out my string, my string. So we're just going to print out the string. So let's go ahead and make it SDDC out, or sorry, SDD string, 
string equals this is my string. And let's call string example and pass in string. So when we print this out, this is my string. So our string is getting sent to this function, but it's creating a copy of it. So same thing when you come up with arrays. So arrays and all that, they kind of the same way. But when you're sending a string, you're passing it to another function, you're creating a duplicate of it. So you're creating pretty much just a big copy of whatever string you have. So for example, this could be massive like that, even bigger, and you're sending a copy. So two of them are existing at the time of the function running. You don't necessarily want to do that if you don't have to. Instead, what you're going to want to do is just pass it by reference. So you're not creating that big co that copy of a big string. Instead, you're just accessing it directly. So this will give you the same result here. It does the exact same thing, except you're not creating a big copy. And if for whatever reason you wanted to, you could change it. So my string equals blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to change it. And then if we print it out back here, uh, my new strings value. So if we print out string again after this function call where we change it, it's going to be changed like so. So it's changing it. So we can print out the original and then we can modify it afterwards. So we call it out, we print it out. It's this giant, this is my string. Then we change it and this string's new value has been modified directly to be ALSHDF. So we're accessing that space in memory. So we're all, we're not working with copies, we're working with that object directly. So hopefully that was a, an okay overview. I was trying to make it as simple as possible to try to grasp, but that's really just the basics of working with pointers and passing by reference and an example of why and when you could really make use of them. Because whenever we're pass working with strings in Unreal Engine, you're generally probably going to want to just pass it by reference and not actually use, well, send a copy. So for example, when you're using RPCs, like you make a, you're on the client and you want to send the server a string, Unreal Engine actually makes you pass the string as a reference and actually makes it as a constant. So I don't think I've covered constants in this series, but it's not that important. The thing of a constant is you can't alter that value once it's uh, set in the function. So for example, const like so, I'm not able to do this. I can't change it because it's a constant. It doesn't let me alter it. So that's the way it makes you pass it in. When you're doing an RPC, you have to be a constant and pass by reference. You can't pass it in as a copy. It just won't let you. So anyways, hopefully this was useful in explaining it. And I'm going to go put this in the correct spot in the playlist. So hopefully it was helpful. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description. And if you have any questions or anything like that, there's also a link to my Discord server down there where you can ask pretty much anything and with any luck you'll get an answer. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video.